Hello everyone, Tina here for Newton Snook Designs and today I get to share a project with you using a cute little stamp set that's been in the shop for quite a while but I love it because it's coffee related and so we're going to make a project using the cup of coffee stamp set. It's a smaller 3x4 stamp set. It does come with, um, well it doesn't come with it but it does have coordinating um, die option if you'd like coordinating dies. And so um, they'll be listed down below in case you guys want to check it out. We're going to start off by doing some stamping. We're going to stamp quite a few of the images. Um, there's two little coffee cups with cactus in them. And we're going to stamp this guy three times. And then we're going to take the other coffee cup and stamp that twice. I'm stamping with Memento ink. And then I'm st also stamping on some Nina 80 pound cardstock. Both of these are alcohol marker or Copic marker friendly. We're going to use um, Copic markers to color in our images today. Now I did leave the coloring in for you guys, but I sped it up a bit. But um, while I color, I left the caps out for you guys and listed the colors that I used in the corner. But while I color, I'll play a little music. And when I'm done coloring, I will catch you back. Okay, coloring is all done. Now I'm going to take the coordinating dies and die cut out each one of my images. Um, I love the way these turned out. I love terracotta pots. In fact, we have a porch that I have some on. 
And so each one of my cups, I have um, different colors, but I added that terracotta cuddle, uh, color with my uh, yellow red markers. We'll just line these up, run them through the die cut machine, and they're all ready to go. Now for my background, I created a window frame. Um, and behind that window frame, we're going to do a little shading with some Distress Oxide ink. This is tumble glass. It's a very pale blue. I'm just using my blending brush and adding a light, light color in the background. I'm not going all the way up on the panel. I just wanted a little bit for add color. Okay, and my window frame is the same size as my background panel, and they're um, four and a quarter by five and a half inch um, panel. So they're going to fit my card front um, perfectly. I'm going to go, I just used the rectangle die to cut out a window. Now I'm going to stamp the sentiment. I chose the sentiment in the stamp set. There, there are some awful cute ones in here. Um, I, I chose the one that says coffee makes you sharper. And boy, I wish that was true. <laughs> I'd be a pretty sharp person. <laughs> but um, I stamped that with my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And then I thought we needed a little bit more in the background. So... I'm using a die from the Frameworks die set. It's the inside scalloped one, and I'm gonna use that to cut a smaller rectangle in a piece of black and white striped diagonal paper. Um, this size, the outline of it was perfect for the inside of my window here. So it's gonna leave me about a quarter of an inch all the way around. And just a little detail like this just made it pop. I'm gonna trim this end off a little bit. I'm going to line my stripe paper behind my frame and then I'm going to add tape behind it and then I'm going to go ahead and adhere that to my card base. Now here I kind of made a little bit of a boo-boo. I should have adhered it to my background panel but I didn't do that so I decided to take the little scallop frame that I had die cut out, use that as a guide and cut out my sentiment panel. So now this piece is going to fit perfectly on the inside of my square. So no worries. I had already added adhesive behind it. Okay, we'll just press that down and that's ready to go. Next, I'm going to take some foam adhesive. We're going to pop up my frame. I like a little bit of dimension. And then that's going to go directly on my card front. Now all we have to do is add foam squares behind each one of our little cactus. And then I'm going to kind of alternate them between the wider cut or the taller cups and then the the more shallow cups and I didn't want I want to make sure that two colors of the same um, or two close colors weren't the same like my pinks and my reds I didn't want them next to each other so I just kind of spread them out on the bottom of my frame okay once we have this done I think that looks really fun and nice and bright um, I'm going to take my white gel pen and we're going to add a little bit of highlight to the flowers. Just adding a little line. Just makes them stand out a little bit. And then after we have this done, I'm going to take some nouveau, white Nouveau drops and um, add dots in the center of my, um, my full fl opened flowers just for added dimension there. And then last but not least, for a little bit of sparkle, I'm going to bring in some stickles. These are Rangers Diamond Stickles. I was going to add it to the coffee cup and change my mind. I didn't want to ruin the, the color of that, so I'm just going to add a little splash to the flowers, basically over the little highlights that I made with my white gel pen. And then that is my card for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed my project. I thank you so much for joining me. Um, we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.